Hi, and welcome to the Dick Data Cloud series, episode uh, six. The amount of data that is created each and every day has grown well beyond what people back in the early 90s could have ever have fathomed. Our needs and our attitudes have changed to the way we create, consume, and utilize data today. And no doubt, the digital landscape will continually evolve, as does the access to technologies. For example, if you were to think about your inbox storage allowance, it has changed from two gig to as much as you need. Or a business proposal you created yesterday is now rich with multimedia and high-res imagery compared to the plain text document proposals of yesteryear. The time that you poured into creating that document or having instant access to all your historical emails, would you consider these too important to lose? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. So let me set the scene for you. There was a company who created a business proposal to bring on a pretty large new client. Everyone is excited as this would have the company double its revenue in the next 12 months. The company itself doesn't practice mail archiving and only backs up a network shared drive with ad hoc desktop backup done by the user if and when they remember. Now fast forward 18 months and imagine you won the customer over with this amazing business proposal and in that time, you've been selling goods and services to them and everything's been going well. Your boss, who led the proposal, has since left your organization and moved on to bigger and better things. And you have been promoted to a flash new office with a pay rise. Now questions have arisen about how the transactions and rebates were being calculated and why some are paid to individuals and why some invoices are being accounted for in a not so standard way. Monthly services were sold and recognized up front, but the costs were not attributed at the time of the sale. So people received overinflated commission payments based on margin targets. How do you go about finding the trail of breadcrumbs of how these mistakes could have occurred? You try and find the signed proposal, but then remember your manager had made some last minute changes. You access his email to find it completely void, no emails at all. You ask your part-time IT guy for backed up emails from the time the deal was agreed on and just get a blank look. So what next? Things just aren't adding up and then the phone rings. Before you know it, auditors and investigators are in asking questions and slap you with a request for all information about that business arrangement with this other company. Your mind races 100 miles an hour as they ask for electronic documentation, including email correspondence, contracts, proposal documents, payments, etc. You start to get a little anxious as you know you can't find any emails yourself about the finalized agreements and you remember your boss saying he had it all filed safely away and now you start to wonder why he was always super protective and would sort it out himself. It's not looking good at this point and probably not going to end well, as so many alarm bells are ringing. You reach out to your IT service provider and you cry, oh please help, I've been asked for all these things called e-discovery and I have no idea what to do. Little did you know that you've been protected this whole time with your IT service provider using a unified data protection solution that has been backing up your devices, capturing and retaining your emails. Your, your eyes light up as you hear this good news and you start to breathe a sigh of relief. All your boss's emails have been captured as his mailbox had been put on a litigation hold. So you've actually not lost any emails and you can provide all the information that they have requested. In the last few years, there's been a rise in the number of arrangements that have hit the news of reported cases where irregular accounting practices or shoddy business took place. It just goes to show you that these organizations have safeguarded themselves. They've been able to dredge up old files and emails to provide proof of deception when requested for litigation reasons. Some can go back even decades. As a trusted IT partner, have you spent any time reviewing the needs of your customer in the business continuity space or plan for disaster recovery with them if the unimaginable were to happen? Have you approached the subject with your customer about the chance of having to go to court and the need for corporate data to be recoverable and available for e-discovery. Unified Data Protection, or UDP from ArcServe, 
has a very compelling story to tell around email archiving, HA, DR, and backup and recovery. Come and talk to the Dikadata team and let's help your customers be protected by ArcServe.